Oh, I'm amazed by those data. It's amazing. I'm here looking at the data of the coronavirus pandemic in the US. And here on this line, I have the 100 infections. It occurs the 2nd of March. And right below, I have the point or the milestone when we reached 1,000 uh, infections. And it was already not even 10 days later on, on the 11th. And if I go down, you see here that within eight days, they jumped to 10,000. And if I go even further, 100,000 infections. This happened seven days later on. That means that during one week, from within one week, we jumped from 10,000 infections to 100,000 infections. I hope you are fine. We find you in a really good situation. I'm Christian from Vision 6D and I'm really amazed by those milestones and how fast this pandemic went on. And the million infections, can you imagine a million of people infected? This happened the 27th April. So within one month, we were with 100,000 people infected and 900,000 more were infected. Really an incredible situation. And all this, you see, I marked them with milestones here. Those little diamonds, they are in MS Project what we call milestones. And you could ask, and you are right to ask, when was the first infection? And that milestone, we are going to do it together. So you might be asking, uh, well, okay, your file is quite complex, has a lot of information. Can I get it? Of course, you can get it simply by going to our website and downloading it from there, from uh, vision6d.com slash download. You will find a lot of files that you can use and do exercises. So that first infection is really interesting because uh, we found out later on that the initial first infection that was given somewhere by the end of February was wrong because in reality the first infection at the time and with the knowledges I have happened the 6th of February 20. So you see what I do to do a milestone I put in a date. So this what is interesting it's that they did a post-mortem analysis of some bloods of somebody that died uh, in California and they found out that they had that virus and this happened already early in February. So now you see I have a date here, I have a task or an event if you are planning just events and I want to mark this as a milestone and it's really easy to do this. A milestone is defined by a task that has a zero day or zero hour duration. So for this, I key in as duration, zero day, and you will see immediately if I let you see on the Gantt chart, which is here, that date. So you see we have that diamond, which is here in this blue color and is set for the 6th of February. And you see now that from the 6th to the 2nd of February, it's really almost a month or at least four weeks before we reach the first 100 infection. And milestones are really here into the possibility to, to show specific events that happen at a certain point. And this is really important into a project manager communication that you can really show important events, uh, that you can mark them up, make them appear in a diagram. So now I removed the duration, so it's no more a milestone. 
And we could imagine that uh, this is a, a task with a certain duration, in the sense that the first infection, we, we might not be so sure that it's the six, but it could be between the six and the twelfth. So I'm saying that it has now a certain duration, you, you see. So this is how we define a task with a duration. What I want to, to show you is that by double clicking on the task itself, so the first infection, I'm opening the information about that task and I will now go and first, usually when you open it, you are in the general part. And for me, I was already testing it, so I was already in advance. So you go into advanced. And you see here down, you have a checkbox when, where you can mark that task as a milestone. So I'll do it for a task with a certain duration and you will see now how it comes up. You see, so we remove the entire duration of the, the task and it was replaced by a diamond. This is what happens when the task with a certain duration here of five days is marked as being a milestone. And you will notice that it's the end date that comes. So for example, we could take another case. You are performing an analysis of feasibility of a certain project. This lasts, let's say, one week. And what you want to mark on the planning it's when the analysis is finished. So you mark this as a milestone. You have then a deliverable, which is maybe the document of the analysis or the analysis result. And you mark this as a milestone. The example file I'm using is a bit more complex since it has the, the timeline. In the uh, next video, I will explain how we build all this timeline. You can already find the basic of it in the introduction and the part called timeline with COVID-19 data. So here I am in the part which is called the timeline. Just to, to let you understand that if you don't see it on the file you are watching, there you go here in the ribbon view and here there is the group which is entitled split view and you have the possibility to check or uncheck the timeline. I uncheck it, it's removed and then the opposite is done when I check it. A few words to, to let you understand this. Uh, the representation I have here is showing the different lockdown phases in different countries. We have here what happened in China. Here below is the lockdown. In blue is the one in Italy with the different stop situation they had. Here in yellow is what happened in Spain. And here in blue, you see what happened in the US. Here down in red, you see the WHO events as for example, when we had here uh, the first 100,000 infections in the world. So those ones are here. They are milestones which are brought into the timeline. And those one here are tasks with a certain duration. That's the way I represented those lockdowns. And uh, they are also brought into the timeline. So what I'm going to do with you now, it's to show you how I bring those um, milestones here into this timeline. And you will see that it is really easy. Um, and for this, I simply right click on the task or the event. And you see that here we have the possibility to add it to the timeline. I will do. So it went here into the, the timeline. We find it uh, here. We are maybe going to, to change the, the color of this and make it, let's say, uh, darker blue. Like that, we, we saw this is uh, relative to the first event in the US. And after I'm going to, to do the, the second one here, I'm doing it in a different way, like that you, you learn it. And 
you you see that uh, if I go now into general here, I can say display on the timeline. Like that, you have the second one that comes here. And once again, I'm going to change the color to that darker blue. So like that, you understand how we can add the events to the, the timeline. I will now add the other events too. And we see here that some of the events, they are a bit overlapping. So I'm just going to, to move them like that, that it's easier to, to see them. And I'm also changing the color. Yes, I changed the side on your screen. And this, you, you can see now, you have a better view on those uh, different events on the, the timeline. And you can appreciate things like, uh, you see, uh, US restricted travel from uh, China by the end of uh, January. And then the first infection was here. The 100 first infections were here. The only measures in the US were this at that moment. And we needed to get to 1,000 infections to see the US block travelers from Europe. And also it was at that time that uh, in Europe there were really a lot of infections that started. And we needed to see, you see, almost here 100,000 infections in the US that the US started the stay at home directive. Once again, I changed the side. So I think you, you got a lot of information here and you know now how to use milestones. You see that uh, this timeline is really a communication tool for the project manager. In all the projects, try to use the timeline. It summarizes a lot of details and you can show really with the milestones the key events that are happening. As I write, did it now with those numbers of infections and how the US reacted in really a general way. Hope you liked it. Subscribe. There will be many more on this subject. I hope that you appreciate this way to learn MS Project and share it with your friends. And all what is left to me is to wish you a really, really good time. Bye-bye.